Hey guys, even here, yes, the old school labs trailer is back. If you guys need a discount to buy the best supplements on the market, my code is in the description down below. Anyways, in this video first, I would like to start with a little review, a recap of the Big Man Weekend Pro Show. So we have another newly crowned giant killer. Yes, another one. This time it is Angel Calderon, just like I thought, or on hell. Uh, the second spot was Amir Omeragic. It wasn't actually Morgan Aced. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more, but first of all, I mean, we have another giant killer. And it's not a small thing, like the smallest guy, by far, the smallest guy in the lineup won the show. It seems like everybody's a giant killer these days, and it seems like 212 guys are making a statement for their division. So after this, after what happened this year, and we still have to wait and see what Flex Lewis is gonna do at the Mr. Olympia. I mean, after this year, you cannot talk down on 212. These guys have proven themselves. So the top 212 guys can easily, it seems like they can easily win open pro shows. Yeah. So this is the lineup. This is the callout, the first callout. Morganist made the first callout, but he didn't make the top five, as you saw in that previous post. Uh, this is the top five, everybody except for Morgan. But Morgan pretty much dwarfed everybody. He is a legit giant at like six foot three or something like that, and weighing like I don't know, close to four hundred pounds. He is a giant, and if a two to hell guy beats him, what else can you call him but a giant killer? Now, if this was if this show was in like between two thousand and five and two thousand and fifteen, maybe he would have even won it because of his gut. He has a huge gut. And it was appreciated back in the day. It's not anymore. It's no longer the case. It is definitely no, no. Frowned upon is is an understatement. It is taken very, very seriously. You get striked down because of it so easily. And I love that. Love that fact. So this is just another show that proves that size is not the most important thing, and everything else will be ignored. That's not the case anymore. Not today. So here you can see a Morgan in this lineup, yeah, bigger than everybody, far bigger, but he's not, he doesn't have the symmetry, he doesn't have the proportions, the lines, uh, he doesn't flow that well, and this guy, the winner, Angel, even though he's, he looks like a, like a child standing next to these guys, he still wins. Do I agree with his decision? Should the height and overall the size of a man, of a bodybuilder, be considered as a factor in judging? I'm not sure, I'm not really sure, but I feel like between these two guys, who were obviously a top two, I think Angel deserved the victory. So even though uh, Amir Omeragic here on the right looked awesome, like he was in shape, look at his glutes, he was shredded, look at the lower back, he was hard as rock, right? Like he was peeled, he was peeled and full and everything was just spot on, but he wasn't exactly as complete, as compact as Angel, but I don't know, I wasn't there, I wasn't there in person, so I can't really judge properly based on these videos and photos that aren't exactly super high quality, but you can kind of get the idea that it was close, and I'm sure the judges made the right decision, but, you know, look at this, I mean, it's not so common, it's not something, you know, uh, for the most people, majority of people who aren't exactly fans of bodybuilding, when I saw these guys, both of them, I don't think many of them would choose Angel as the winner, because he's that much smaller. And bodybuilding is, you know, big bodies, built up bodies. So, I don't know, it's weird. Before this show, I thought Angel was gonna win, but that's mainly because I saw Sean win against Regan and Sergio. So, if that happened, why this wouldn't? Anyways, Angel won, congrats. Angel winning an open pro show as a 212 competitor. That is, that is an amazing achievement. And I don't know if I should say he proved the point, because many other guys proved the point before. Just recently, Sean Clarita who is, by the way, looking amazing right now, looking huge, maybe even considering sw switching to the open, but he's the shortest guy in the 212 by far, so I think he should, he, he at least should stay in 212, as far as the others, I don't know, but as I said before, uh, the other guys made a statement before, so for example, Hari Japan, you know, then also William Bonek was a 212 competitor originally, then you also have Flex Lewis, now we're gonna see what he's gonna do, then also back in the day you had Lee Priest, you know, killing a lot of a lot of tall bodybuilders on the stage, being a top caller as a Mr. Olympia, you know that's a big achievement. Uh, then you also had uh, back in the day Danny Padilla. So there was uh, there was a lot of giant killers, but as for today, you know, 212, it was a division that was uh, looked down on. 
it seems. Because, for example, there is no division, there is no 212 division in Arnold Classic. And even though bodybuilders, open bodybuilders, respect the 212 guys more than, for example, Classic or Men's Physique guys, of course, uh, they are still not really looking them as equals. Uh, that's the, the impression that I got. Because it is a lighter division. But now, I mean, how many of these uh, 212 top guys can actually dominate the, the, the top open shows? This is a new thing that happened this year, and it really made a statement. You know, these two guys really made a statement, and it is very interesting. So tell me what you guys think about this. We have a lot of giant killers lately. And tell me what you think. Are the judges right? Should they even consider the height? You know, they're only looking at the ratios, the symmetry, the proportions, the lines on the given height, whichever it is. But should they consider the height when they're judging the open divisions or not at all? Tell me what you think, what is your stance on this? But don't forget this, so yes, Angel won this show, it wasn't super competitive, open show. The one that Sean Clarita won was more competitive, sure, there was Cedric, who didn't even place, who actually got out of that Legion Sports Fest after the pre-judging. Uh, there was also Regan Grimes and Sergio Oliva in the top three, but you know, those guys aren't exactly super top Olympia caliber guys. But you need to consider Hari Chopin, William Bonek. Then you need to consider Flex Lewis, who is probably gonna do some serious damage to Mr. Olympia this year. Uh, next year, actually, if he decides, if he actually finally does it, I can see him cracking the top five, even, yeah. And Derek Lansford, he also, he also showed aspiration to compete in the Open eventually. Because look at this guy. This is his most recent physique update. He is humongous. I'm sure he's he, he's killing himself to get in that weight gap to 12. That's not the division for him. So it seems like there really isn't a big difference between these two divisions. It seems like either 212 should be taken more seriously, should be given more respect, or all the 212 guys should just switch to the open, especially the top guys, because they can win open shows. Anyways, guys, this is a very interesting topic, and I would like to hear your thoughts on it. But if you enjoyed this video and my thoughts, give it a like. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. All the best, and bye-bye.